Chris Dunganier, founder of the Conscious Education Podcast. This is a live session filmed in our Magnetic Mind Masterclass, which is a coaching program. If you hear me uh, referring to some of the guests or talking to people, this was recorded when it was live. And so you're not able to uh, comment or chat uh, to me, obviously. Enjoy this session and uh, do subscribe or share it if you think it's valuable. Bye for now. Uh, all right. So today we're going to talk more about uh, money. So uh, last week was fantastic. We talked about the structure of money, what it is, and we did a, a beautiful recode uh, and about the fact that if you can create a money system uh, that is able to do a few things for you, it's able to build your, your life up and, and keep creating. But there's really only a few things you can do with money. Uh, you know, you can, you can buy stuff with it that you enjoy. Um, you can lend it to people and earn interest, uh, or you can, you know, buy stuff and, and rent it out. There's not a lot. You earn it, uh, you know, or you receive it by, by providing value. Uh, you grow it by one of those three things. And then, you know, eventually you get to, you get to spend it on, on ways that, that you love. So today we're going to talk uh, more about stepping into being someone that is okay with having uh, more than enough. Having more than enough. For me, this was such a, an interesting concept, uh, having more than enough. Whenever I had more than, than enough, I always felt this weird tension to spend it. And uh, it, was, it was really strange. I had this weird like $30,000, um, you know, kind of, uh, let's call it for, for a want of a better word, like a, uh, a floor. So I would always have, $30,000 in my like rainy day investment savings account. But when it, I would never get more than that. And it was really, it was a really strange paradigm. I would never have more. Like I would hardly ever have less. Whenever I got more than it, I'd find a way to, to spend it, to get rid of it. It wouldn't stick to me. And, and uh, I was thinking today about today's session and I was considering a little bit of my journey and and what it is I had to do to not just be someone who can make money, but someone that can grow it and keep it. And uh, I was very proud when I looked back. It's actually, uh, it's my ninth year in a row earning more than a million dollars. And I was like, wow, that's quite something. For nine years in a row, I've earned more than a million. I was like, wow, soon to be a decade. And so for, for quite a long time, I have learned how to create a lot. But, it, but it took, it's taken me a very long time to learn how to keep it uh, because I had obvious uh, unconscious patterns uh, that would just keep spending it. It would, it would just not stay with me. So I would like you to become someone who is okay with having more than enough. Does that make sense? Becoming more, someone who has more than enough. So just right there, I want to be comfortable to have more than enough and not feel a need to have to use it. Does that make sense? Do I have that need that it has to leave? Like, it's fine that you have more than enough and it can be there. The next thing is I want you to be okay with someone that puts their money to work. Okay? That actually lets themselves receive money without doing anything. You know? I'd really like you to be there. Be someone that's, it's okay that money buys something and that something uh, creates value for someone else and you earn money without your time, you see? So really, uh, really owning that you're, you're okay making money without having to work hard, you know? Uh, and, and that's actually something else is that you, you don't have to work hard for, for money. Uh, also, some of you need to become really good at uh, being good at spending it, Okay. This is something else I had a challenge with for, for I then went to the opposite thing is I spent nothing. You know, I just, I just saved, I did nothing with it. I just saved it. And you, if you're not enjoying it, there's not much point getting more of it and not just spending it, giving it away, donating it, all these things, really getting in that, that, that joy of that. Um, and then also getting in the joy of receiving it, getting in the joy of, asking people, hey, I'll do this for this and receiving it. And I'd love you to have an experience with money as just this joyful friend that is, uh, that is there to uh, accompany you in life. <laughs> you know, is uh, <laughs> someone says, I don't want to uh, die the richest man in the graveyard. Why, why not? 
you know, there's nothing wrong with it if you, you know, you want to, uh, you know, why not? It's, it's, I think sometimes uh, there's, there's uh, lots of different paradigms that are always both positive and, uh, and negative. So, so let's get into it. I was thinking about you guys and thinking, what are the ways uh, that we sabotage and to help you kind of diagnose, um, you know, how it is uh, and, and what it is. And, and so I see a few people um, questioning that. I do want to. I do want to. I don't. I want to be able to uh, be someone that creates generational wealth. I was actually talking uh, to to my grandmother and I and. Uh, and I said to her, I said, Nana, I'm going to be the one that creates a system that produces generational wealth that keeps on generating more wealth, even when I'm not here. I think sometimes like, oh, I plan to give it all away. People who have this idea that I'm giving it all away, they haven't understood that what you must do is create a machine that continually provides value to another person that continually brings in uh, more of this thing. So you never have to actually give it all away. Uh, but I might cover that more uh, next week. Okay, so here's my first question. My first question, a bit of an assessment, okay? My first question is, have you had the same income for years and it hasn't really changed? You just can't seem to get to a higher income bracket. You stay at the same level no matter what you do. Has anyone got this as their stuck pattern at the moment? Anyone that like you, you're doing things, but for some reason, it's not it's not breaking through. Cool. So to so note that down, that might be that might be something to be aware of. OK, here's the next one. Here is the next one. Okay, have you been able to make more money, but somehow you're always back to where you started? Each time you make more money, you attract a circumstance that sabotages you, you, you get more expenses, you get the wrong business part. This was my pattern for a very long time. It, I always ended up back where I started. I couldn't get more than 30. Even though I made a million bucks, which is you know nearly 50 times that, I could never hold on to more than 30. So who's been able to do that? They, they, they make more, but they're never left with any more. You know, as soon as they make more, they get the new car, they get the new thing, and it's all gone again all of a sudden. Is this anyone's? Okay, so that's number, that's that's some that's a way to think about it. Go, well, so the first one you might say, I just can't, I keep trying to do more, but I'm not receiving more. So the first one I'd say you have a challenge with the receiving. The second is, is you, you've been able to receive more, but you, you don't have a good structure in your mind. You, you, as soon as you get it, you feel a tension to get rid of it straight away. Someone said yes to both. I love you, but by the nature of the two questions, you can't possibly say yes to both. <laughs> I'll write them both in. I love you, but I think you've missed something in one of the questions. I put the book, the first one says, you've had the same income for years without changes. Then the second one says, you've been able to make more money, but not keep it. <laughs> so I love you guys, but there's something in those questions <laughs> that says you can't be both. <laughs> okay. Okay. How about this one? How about this one? Uh, when you When you get more money, can you keep the money or do you just feel an urge to spend it? You know, like as soon as it comes in, it flows through your fingers. Okay. So this is similar to number two. Number two is more that, uh, you know, you get a circumstance that somehow you lose it. Like for me, I didn't do things right. A friend of mine ended up passing away. I lost it. Or I'd get the wrong business partner. I'd make the wrong investment. It would go. Number three is more like, as soon as you're getting the money and you're already thinking about where it's going, you know, I've, I don't have any credit cards or debt or those sort of things. This person would probably have a lot of credit cards and debt. Like they are already spending it um, before they've even made it. Yeah. All right, cool. So that's, that's an interesting strategy. Okay. Next one. Next one. Um, 
If someone handed you a million dollars in a box for no other reason than you're alive, you had not worked for it, nothing, and then they give you a new box with another million at it, in it, how would you feel? How would you feel? Like if someone just said, hey, here's, here's, here it is. And then the next week they said, here it is again. And whatever it is that you say you feel, okay, so you say grateful, I feel blessed, I feel these things, or I feel worried or concerned or whatever. How is that different? How is that different to how you feel in everyday life? Because if it's different, you're not in an identity that's just ready to receive. Does that make sense? You would just... Uh, it, if you the only right answer is I would I would ask them why they sent it to me and that they said they just wanted to give it to me I'd feel good and I'd have it okay that, that's the I would you know I just have it any other any other response to that question I'd feel excited I'd feel blessed all these all these things is you giving power to money think about it for a second because that thing showed up, you got all different. Who's, is this connecting with someone? They got different. And because you got different, the money made that. You see? Do you see how that question helps you to understand? Now, if you say, well, I, I feel grateful now. I feel grateful with it. I'd say thanks to them. And then we'd go out for a sandwich. You know, nothing would change. Well, then you're in the flow of it. You see? If you believe it's going to change you, if you say that I would feel significantly different, okay, then the money, the money has the power. Does that make sense? Nancy had a huge break, breakthrough from that. Who, do you see that? Who's had a breakthrough just from that question? Because if you're not, if, if it changes you, then you've given it the power to change you. When you're in the true flow of it, you just go, oh, okay, that's what I got. You know, wow, that's pretty cool. Um, awesome. So, so there's no conditions with this. It's just, you want to give it to me? Okay. Well, thank you. I'll put it in my account. Right now let's go for a walk on the beach and talk about life. You know, like it shouldn't change. So, so a lot of us with that question, it helps us to see just how much of the, uh, of the power. Okay. The power we money is going to make me feel this, you know, or some of us go, well, I feel really weird about that. Like, Oh, no, don't give me this. No, no, I want to go earn it. You know, I've got to go work. I've got to suffer for my money. Yeah. All right, next question. Do you go to program after program and they just never seem to work for you? Or you could say, do I go from business to business? You never seem to have enough information. There's always something you don't know and you, you, you're just always trying to find something out getting no results yeah and so that's a capability situation hey they go yeah yeah i keep on wanting to get something i don't there's some information i don't know there's something there's something there's something yeah that's and obviously we know we've got to got to stop that are these good questions by the way all right next question are you afraid of being successful? Like if you actually had it and you had everything you wanted and it all turned up and, you know, you go to a family gathering, you know, maybe it's a Christmas or, a, or you know, a Thanksgiving or, a, you know, a birthday of a relative and you turn up and you turn up and they say, how are you going? And you say, fantastic. You know, yesterday I made a million bucks clear. I just got this new car. I donated 500,000 to this charity. I'm doing this, I'm doing this, I'm doing this. How do you feel? You know, you have it all and you say, and how are you? <laughs> you know, like, I say, I'm struggling, man. You go, oh, how do you feel? Hey, like if that's you. And the, the, and that's, it's a really good thing is, you know, are you kind of stressed out about being the one that becomes successful? Last question. And these are, these questions came from Colette, by the way. Uh, in her um, book, which I think you should all get. Uh, I've got it up here, uh, Abundance on Demand. So they're, they're really good questions. And she's amazing, by the way. I think you should all follow Colette Stryker. So uh, this last question, are you having a hard time to charge for your value? 
Do you have a hard time charging? This is the last question. Maybe you give away a lot of free sessions or you know, you're always trying to be, just have a real hard time charging. So I hope that that, that helped to, uh, to jog your brain uh, a bit a bit there about you know what it is that um, could possibly be your structure because sometimes we need to see it now just because you're able to acknowledge uh, the symptom doesn't mean that you know the cause of it okay and so this education or these questions is just to help your consciousness to start observing maybe some of the patterns you've been in, you know, and to go, oh, okay, I understand. I can see the pattern that I'm in or the structure that I've been in. And, uh, and I probably would like to change that. You know, I would like to be in a different pattern um, or, or a different structure. Now, what's true, as we talked about last week, is what you have reflecting in your life is your unconscious safe, safe patterns. So whatever is whatever your unconscious set point is, you'll see that reflected in your life, you know, and, and that will and we talked about that a lot last week. So these questions help bring forward maybe some things that we need to, to recode or, or look at. Uh, and uh, and that's a good thing. And there's nothing you get, there's nothing bigger than having more than enough. You know, that's that's the field. That's the structure. I have more than enough right now. That's how you be it to see it. You see, the only difference between someone that has they have enough plus ten thousand and enough plus thirty thousand and enough plus a million is that they can just have fancier versions of the same thing. But there's still nothing more abundant than experiencing a moment fully. There's still nothing more uh, abundant. There's still nothing better than spending the, your time with people you love doing what you love. Like this, it's not this, this weird extra better thing. You can arrive before it arrives. You know, the journey, the journey to being someone that was happy having more than enough uh, was, a, was the journey that it took. And once I became someone that was like, wow, I actually do have more than enough. I do have it. Then money just stuck to me because I wasn't worried about it changing me or being different because it didn't, didn't matter to me, you know? Um, does that make sense? Once you, once you arrive at the realization you can have more than enough right now, the, a lot of these misguided notions or the power we give to money and finances just drops away because you know that it's not going to give you any extra happiness um, at all. How could it? It's just a thing humans made up. And so every single one of you right now can have just as much abundance and joy and happiness that anyone else can. There's nothing that can stop that. And then what happens is as soon as you're in that moment, you become it. And then as you become it, there's no resistance to just saying, well, I'd like to have a bunch of it. True. There's just no resistance. You just say, I'd like to have it. That'd be fun. And it becomes that. It becomes, oh, it would just be fun. It'd be fun. Oh, yeah, I'd like to have that. It'd be a fun thing to have. And, you know, the, you, you, the same day that you make, you make a million bucks, you still, have, you know, wake up and have the breakfast you always have and you do what you're going to do anyway. True. But you still got to do life. And that's the and that's the key of this one today. Once you realize you have enough right now, then you're in the right structure. Because remember, when you're in the right structure, is that you be it before you see it. So you be it. Once you're in that structure, then you just you just say, "Oh, I'm going to have more of that. That sounds great," and you just move to it. It's when your current reality and desired reality identity are not equal. That's uh, that's when there's that's when it's never going to happen. When you think, well, if I had that, life would be so grateful and blissful. It's like, well, no, it won't. And you'll never have it because of that, that mismatch. True? So, so that's, that's key. You can arrive there first. And that's who we are. And now, just choose it. Choose it, you know, 
uh, choose it. I choose to have a million bucks in my bank account. And the day that I have a million bucks in my bank account, I'm going to feel just like this. I'm going to wake up. If it's the day to put out the garbage, I will put that, put that out. If there's uh, dishes that need to be washed, well, I'll do that. You see? I'll still, you know, do, who's getting it? Give me a yes if you're getting it. You still do, you still take your kids to school. You might drive a car that goes to the speed limit faster. <laughs> you know, like, it might have nicer looking wheels, <laughs> you know, like you might live in a house that means you have to ring someone from the other side of it. <laughs> but it's still the same house. Your bed might be a little bit bigger, but more comfortable, but it's still a bed. <laughs> And once I truly realized that, then I was in the field with it. And then it's like, oh, yeah, cool. Well, well, now I can just have it because I'm already more abundant. I'm already more than what money could give me. Does that make sense? I'm already more than it. I'm bigger than it. I became. Does that make sense? Hey, I'm all like it can't it can't affect me if it's there. That's fine. If it's not there, that's fine because I'm just as happy with, uh, you know, uh, a, a, a walk with Harriet uh, to, to get, uh, you know, takeaway uh, Thai, uh, Thai food and enjoy our evening. I'm just as happy doing that as I am going to a fancy restaurant and, you know, having all the fancy. I'm, just, I'm the same happy. Like it's the same, same experience. It's just it's the same, you know. When you when you connect that, oh, I'm already more than that. And it allows you to still be able to create it for no reason. I want you to really get this. I'm spending a bit of time here. There's no reason. There's no reason other than you just want it. Does that make sense? Some says to me, Chris, why do you want to grow your company to 100 million? And I always say, because I choose to. And they say, uh, but isn't 20 million enough? I'm like, oh, it's way more than enough. And they go, well, what would the extra 80 million do for you? I'm like, oh, not that much, really. And they're looking at me like, what? And they don't get it because it's just, it's, it's not about that. It's a fun game that, that I'm playing. And, and here's what I choose. I choose to make it a big company. I choose to employ amazing um, staff. I choose to be able to shower them financial, with financial gifts. I choose to be able to spend a lot on marketing. Like I choose the charities that we look after. Like I choose these things. That's what I want to do. And there's no reason. Does that make sense? There's no story, no narrative, no reason. I'm just choosing it, hey? That's it. Does that make sense? It's just a choice. It's just, that's what I choose. And, and the reason why I bring that up is because we, we, we try to bring all these things in this, you know, there's a, it's a good book, you know, start with why. I, 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 I want to change it. And I say, well, start with why not? <laughs> you know, why not? I just chose it. I don't know why. I just, why not? <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> I just made that up just then. <laughs> I should write the book. Why start with why not? <laughs> uh, that's actually good. I'm going to do that. Start with why not? Uh, it's funny, but it, it's uh, it's very true, isn't it? There's you you don't need to make this big narrative story thing about because it's not going to be that different. Hey, it's just it's just that's what I choose. And um, the the thing in that's most important in life is what you do every single day and uh, and how you spend your time. And that's, that's what's really important. And so you can choose to have as much, as much financial abundance as you like, as long, and you will get it as long as you know that you are greater than it. Does that make sense? Is that you are greater than it. You, you are above it. Meaning, it has less power than you. It doesn't have any power on you, you see? The questions at the beginning were, were done to help you understand how you've given it the power, you see? That's the key.
Hey, Chris here again. I hope you really enjoyed that session. Obviously, it was streamed live to our Magnet Mind Masterclass uh, coaching program. If you'd like to be involved in that program, please do reach out. Uh, we do have spaces you can uh, apply for and you can join. So do let us know if it's something for you. And again, thank you so much for your support. Subscribe, like, and share this content so we can reach millions of people just like you and help them become conscious creators. Have a great day. Stay super conscious.